Hello there, my beautiful Scorpios, and welcome to your November Love Tarot reading with me, Miss Machiste. We are going to be looking into your love life and what's coming your way next in terms of love for the rest of the month of November. Please keep in mind that time is fluid, and do not forget to check your other chart placements on my channel. Scorpio, stick around towards the end of the reading. I will be getting each zodiac sign's feelings for you. A very special happy birthday to all of my Scorpios out there. Wishing you a happy, blessed, and abundant birthday season with many, many years to come. So, Spirit, let's see what's going on here for my beautiful Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Scorpio. In their love lives for Scorpio. Scorpio, please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. All right, Scorpio. First card out is listen. This is the high priestess, Pisces, Virgo energy. We have challenging times, the five of wands, fire energy. We have observe, more Piscean energy. Definitely could have Pisces in your chart or connecting to somebody with Pisces in their chart. Next is the Three of Cups coming in as Share the Love. We also have Nurture coming in as the Empress. And we have the Tower Rebuild coming in as Scorpio Energy. All right, so it looks like you're about to have an epiphany moment here, Scorpio, especially with that hanged man over the tower. I'm going to say something here. I don't know who it is, but somebody feels played in this connection. And they don't like it. They feel unappreciated. They feel played. They feel like there are secrets. They feel like there is... A lot of things that they don't like in this connection. So if you are in a relationship, this could be the person you're connecting to or you, Scorpio, but somebody feels straight up played by the other person. For others of you, we do have the Three of Cups here. Obviously, your birthday season, right? Um, for some of you, you're definitely hearing from past people, definitely maybe using your um, birthday as an excuse. You may feel played by these past people, and you know, the players love to use holidays, don't they? Um, so, or the past people, the people who are intimidated by you, they just love to use holidays for things, right? Definitely could be an indication of this. So if you are in a relationship, somebody's got problems here with the other person. Um, they they just don't feel like they're being treated the right way. For others of you, somebody's coming around that, that you do not feel treated you the right way. Wants to reconcile, wants to come back into your energy. Whether for... A long time or just the season we'll see when we clarify and for others of you Scorpios there is a very high possibility you are single and have options and this feeling of played may be the other person let's give this a clarification and get into the details very interesting theme cards here oh Spirit for Scorpio. Hold on one second, Scorpio. We got one card on the ground. Spirit for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Spirit for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Scorpio. In their love lives for the rest of the month of November. High Priestess with the Ten of Wands, Five of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles, the Hanged Man with the Queen of Swords, the Three of Cups with the Page of Wands, the Empress with Strength, and the Tower. Ooh, 
the high priestess. I knew it. There is an epiphany happening here. Scorpios in relationship. Somebody is quite done with this here. Definitely quite done with this. Um, there may be like a finality towards the end of November. But it's showing that like you, somebody's just over it. And that's why I do feel like for a lot of you, this definitely could be a return to the past that you're kind of just like shockingly with going to withdraw from. All right, so let me let me get into the storylines here. Scorpios in relationships, I don't know what happened here. But somebody is almost burdened by the fact that they feel like they need to figure things out about the other person. The High Priest is here twice to so the Ten of Wands up there. Somebody is almost feeling a sense of heaviness in this connection because of some sort of Either feeling like there are secrets or there's still secrets that we didn't see or there are still things being hidden. Something happened here. There were things that were done that shouldn't have been done. And it looks like whoever did the wrongdoing here, the Three of Cups of the Page of Wands, I feel like they are very immature I feel like they they don't even really recognize exactly what they did or they won't until the other person really pulls back like drastically like has that I'm telling you somebody's going to have an epiphany to cut someone off for good Second story Scorpio a very high possibility, extremely high possibility a past person comes in and this is your chance of saying, I'm cutting you off for good. Or you may just not say anything to this person at all, which it absolutely shifts the energy. And for my Scorpios who are single... I don't know if you have options and the person that you're connecting to is trying to figure you out or you feel like they have options and you're trying to figure them out. But there is something along the lines like that. I feel like because of that feeling like you need to figure things out is going to cause somebody to feel like they have to pull back. So you know who you are in this story here. Let's clarify the bottom row. There's definitely a past person coming in for a lot of you. Connected right to that Three of Cups, Page of Wands. A message coming in. We have Leo here as well. Spirit, please clarify this. Page of Wands, Six of Swords. Strength, Four of Wands, High Priestess to the Three of Cups. Yep, not giving that person the time of day. High Priestess to the Three of Cups. I'm telling you, if you're in a relationship, somebody's trying to figure out if there's third-party energy here. 100%. Honestly, I don't know who is, but... Very big energy of trying to figure something out here. Trying to like uncover secrets. So Scorpio in relationships. There seems to be a little bit of a knowing that there's been issues here. It looks like this person wants to heal with you. They want to move forward with you. They want to be with you. But the problem is energetically they don't really look like they know exactly that they're wrong. Wrong. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah, in the moment, yeah, I messed up, sorry this, sorry that, but are you now going to take the actions towards making things better, or are you just sorry? 
I don't know. I, I feel like whoever is the wrongdoer here, the other person's going to leave and put themselves back out there. And you know, that's the consequences to the actions. And I feel like this person's been wanting to do that for quite some time. So it's either you or them. I don't know exactly. High possibility they're not going to really let this person go that easily. Or it's not going to be let go that easily, but I see someone trying. There is like this epiphany moment where it's like, I'm done figuring out what's going on here. I'm out. I'm done with secrets. I'm out. I'm done with drama. I'm out. I'm done with not feeling stable with you. I'm out. And second story, here they come, back in. They're going to use your birthday as an excuse. Three of Cups here twice, High Priestess here twice. They've been pulled back since the season. You already know what they're about. And that's that. And for others of you, Scorpios, single, go out there, enjoy your time. It looks like you have availability to be out with friends and some of you, you may be in the energy of figuring out a person that you have not yet started actually dating yet. There is definitely an energy here of figuring out somebody's secrets and or has already and trying to break free from this connection. It doesn't, it doesn't look energetically easy to break free, but it does look... Um, like that energy is available for whoever feels super wronged here to pull back, withdraw, put down the burden of dealing with this and go have fun. Get yourself out there. That's what I got. So thank you, Scorpio. Let's look into your oracle, and then we will look into each zodiac sign's feelings for you to close out your reading. All right. Sorry for shaking that. Uh, Spirit for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for my beautiful Scorpios. What do we got going on for Scorpio? In terms of love for Scorpio... We have bound, devil-like energy, ooh, dark night of the soul, mm. and soulmate. All right, Scorpios and whoever this person is, actually, because a lot of you, this is somebody coming back. You could have dated this person. You could have not dated this person. Whatever the case may be, somebody's about to test you. You, you are definitely feeling tested right now. Someone's feeling tested very strongly. Spirit, please clarify this for Scorpio. We have bound to numbing. Dark night of the soul to guide. So a spirit guide is here guiding and helping you. And soulmate with divine masculine. All right. So some of you, um, Spirit is indicating um, that guiding your way out of this person's toxicity is going to bring your divine soulmate, male or female. And some of you, this is definitely a masculine energy who is putting you through it. Specifically a masculine energy. So let's give this one more clarification. They're actually now calling out that the masculine energy is the one that is being... Toxic. Numbing with mute. Guide with balancing the scales. Divine masculine with inner child. Yeah. If this is a past person, you definitely don't look like you're saying much to this person's energy. If this is a newer person, I definitely feel like you're still working towards trusting people and not needing to figure out everything about them. And for others of you, if you're in a relationship... Spirit wants you to know you will feel balanced. You will feel justified after this. Some of you, you just got to go mute on this person. You have to numb the addiction, right? You know, sometimes toxic relationships are addicting. This 
Spirit is saying, you will receive your justice from doing this. And they are also indicating how hard it is for the person who was wronged to leave. So, here we go, Scorpio. All the way from Aries to Pisces. Let's get each zodiac sign's feelings for Scorpio. All the way from Aries. Oh, my goodness. Spirit, all the way from Aries to Pisces. I need each zodiac sign's feelings for Scorpio. All the way from Aries to Pisces. All the way from Aries to Pisces. Aries feelings for you are the Ten of Pentacles. So if you are not married to an Aries, you definitely may, may be going down the road of marriage. Aries feels very stable with you and you are the person they want to grow old with. Taurus feelings for you are the Knight of Wands. So if you're dealing with an in and out inconsistent Taurus, they are definitely wanting to come back in. So definitely beware of that energy. For some of you, you just feel like your Taurus is immature. Um, some, some of you Taurus may feel like you're inconsistent if you're in and out with the Taurus. Gemini's feelings for you are the Tower. So Gemini is shocked by something with you. Unexpected energy Gemini feels. We will clarify that. Cancer's feelings for you are the magician. So Cancer feels like anything is possible in this connection. Definitely could be feeling you're, like you're being manifested by a Cancer. But Cancer's feeling really good about this connection. Leo's feelings for you are the Ten of Swords. So for some of you, things are over and done with with a Leo. For others of you, Leo wants to put an ending to the bad cycle and have a brighter day and a better energy with you. Virgo's feelings for you are the Wheel of Fortune. So Virgo is wishing that things move in a more positive direction. Or Virgo just feels very lucky to have you. Libra's feelings for you are the Empress. So Libra wants to feel seen, heard, and appreciated by you. Um, some of you may be in a relationship with a Libra or heading towards that energy. Next is... Scorpio's feelings for you, yeah. Eight of Swords. So Scorpio's really in their head about you. You may be putting a Scorpio in their head. They're overthinking. They're feeling really confused about this connection, making up worst case scenario of what could happen. You are Scorpio, so take which way you want to take that. Sagittarius feelings for you, Four of Cups. So Sagittarius feels very reje rejected and ignored by your energy. They feel like you're not taking their offer. Some of you... Um, Sagittarius just feels like they're not getting what they want from you. Capricorn's feelings for you are the four of wands. So Capricorn's very interested in coupling up with you, being with you, having a relationship with you, possibly marriage even for some of you. Next up is Aquarius feelings for you as the sun. So Aquarius feels like they do have clarity in this connection. They do feel like they see things clearly. Whether that is seeing things clearly and feeling the need to be with you or seeing things clearly and feeling the need to live on with their life without you. They feel clear-minded about this. And Pisces feelings for you, Scorpio, are the Ace of Swords. So new communication coming from a Pisces. Clarity, victory, better communication. If you haven't heard from a Pisces, you may start hearing from one. For others of you, if you are connecting to one, Better communication, more truth, clarity, and feel-good energy. So, let's clarify. Who are we clarifying here? Let's do... The Tower with Gemini. Yeah, let's just do the Tower here. Why is Gemini the Tower for Scorpio? Why is Gemini the Tower for Scorpio? So you either shockingly blocked a Gemini and they were they unexpectedly didn't expect you to block them or you have a wall up between you and Gemini and they are almost shocked, confused, and entitled as to why you have this wall up. But they feel blocked out of your energy and they are very surprised by feeling that way. So that's what I have here for you, uh, Scorpio. Happy birthday once again and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Bye now. A wonderful week. Wonderful rest of your month. Bye now.